Story time, a little over six months ago, I came up with the idea to make a protein rice crispy treat. And that video got around 400,000 views. But I was the one behind the camera the whole time. And we called this video Rise Crispy Treats. What you didn't know is we already had a collaboration in the works with Jet Pup. But I knew it would be a great segue to make the first Rise Crispy Treat with protein powder. Now we all have been super busy, so I'm filming this video at 8.30 at night. And I can't get Rise CEO to do this one because it would just take too long. Therefore, I am going to do this video. Now how the f do I make Rice Krispie Treats? Okay. I have an actual oven here, so I think the first step is going to be melt all of these marshmallows and put like a ton of butter in. I don't even think I'm gonna like measure it out. I'm just gonna go for it. and just pour the hot water. All right, so the first step that we have here is get a pan, get your stove a little hot. A little hot. Also, haha, -ha, funny, Jake's not 5'8 because I'm taller than the microwave. Yeah, but let's just set this right here. I think in the first video we used, I can't believe it's not butter. So when I was at the store today at Target looking for MILFs, I picked up some can't believe it's not butter, the light version. Man, I would love me a hefty MILF though. I don't know how to measure out three tablespoons. All right, I definitely didn't look it up, but if I had to take my best guess from the internet, we need about three tablespoons of butter. That looks like one tablespoon. Oh, shit. All right, there's one, there's two, and there's three. Hopefully that's enough butter. And if you look at it, that's like 110 calories. Really not that bad at all. Uh, maybe I need the spoon later, so let's not throw it in the wash. Next thing that we're gonna do is get this whole bag of marshmallows right here and dump it in. And our butter is already melting. I should have stirred around the butter. Again, when I was at Target, I bought one of these things. I forgot about that. And now we're just gonna wait for all of these creamy, oh, little gooey in my mouth marshmallows to melt. Can't make a video without making a joke like that. This is ridiculous, Jake. You're better than this. Actually, you're not, but hey, get better. If you can see right here, but you may not be able to because it will spill all over my counter, this kind of has the consistency of no sticky glue. But the next step that we have is get your Jet Puff protein powder. Code Jake will save you 15% on this. Drops Wednesday. Uh, might already be dropped by the time I edit this video, but we are going to put two scoops of Rise protein powder in here. This is the Jet Puff flavor. And I actually feel bad because I left my oven or er, stove on all night and that was not a genius move. And this is the only part of the recipe that is somewhat healthy. Okay, now we're gonna take it off the heat because it's smelling like burnt toast or maybe I'm having a heart attack. We're gonna take it off the heat and make sure to mix it up really, really well. And it all smells like it's burning now because Jake is an awful cook. Okay, now it all should be melted up in this little pan right here. Make sure you are stirring it a lot so you don't want it to burn to the sides of this and get it too hot like I did. Um, I guess I just get I just get everyone too hot. I get all the girls. Now the final step in this recipe is to get your dry ass Rice Krispie treats and let's make them unhealthy, but kinda healthy. Not like super unhealthy, but better for you than they usually would be. All right, this is also thickening up a little bit. It's got a kind of, kind of, a good consistency. Oh yeah. How do you throw a punch? Right, so what you want to do is, you need to get in front of your opponent and then. And the next step of this is kind of just fill it with Rice Krispie treats to your heart's desire. Remember, you can always add more, but you cannot take away. and I think I just added too much. So learn from my mistakes and don't do what Jake did. Now you can literally just mix this bad boy up. Now you don't wanna eat these when they're like piping hot because it won't really taste like a Rice Krispie treat. And I guess I didn't add enough uh, because it's still really, really gooey. So let's add some more Rice Krispie treats or Rice Krispies, we're making Rice Krispie treats. And this should be enough right here. And after this, I'm gonna put them in a pan, put them in the fridge, and then we will do the final taste test of them. It doesn't take a genius to cook. I mean, I'm not a genius, and I made these pretty damn easy. 
Also, I forgot a very essential part of this video. If you do not wash out this pan right away and you live at your mom's house, she is going to whoop your because uh, this is very hard to get out of the pan. I remember because my mom literally yelled at me for like 30 minutes one time because it was all, all the marshmallows was stuck to the side and <coughs> just wasn't a good deal. Now, I'll say this right here. I'm no Gordon Ramsay, but this looks pretty stinking good right here. Let's get right into it. Remember when I said I'm no Gordon Ramsay? What the f did I do? I believe I'm missing some key ingredients. One, that being more Rice Krispie treats because it's basically just like a marshmallow fluff with butter is kind of, kind of, kind of what I made here. It's not good. What are you? An idiot sandwich. I think if I added more Rice Krispie treats to this, it would have been better. I mean, the flavor is there. There is a lot of marshmallow flavor, and but there's almost no Rice Krispie flavor. Ah, oh, don't man. Cry, don't cry, don't cry. I was so confident going into this video. Maybe we should go give this to Brett. All right, guys, I'm going handheld right here, but apparently Brett also made Rice Krispie treats. I called him, he said his were good, and mine are dog shit. So we're gonna head down to his apartment. He's gonna see what he thinks of mine. I'm gonna see what I think of his, and hopefully, he said his were good. I told him mine were dog shit, so we'll see. It's like goo. No, you gotta do it at the same time. Oh, yeah. oh. man. They smell okay. They, they smell great. <laughs> Something just between the smell and what actually they taste like. All right. Cheers. Oh, mine's gonna fall off pork. <laughs> They're so bad. These taste like the store brand Rice Krispies. No, you remember the ones we had from Aldi that were nasty? That's what this tastes like. It's like really chewy. This is like soggy cereal. Yeah. Basically. Okay, what'd you use? I want to know what y'all use. All right, try ours real quick. Yeah, okay. mine first. Good taste. This is how they should taste. Oh my god, I can already tell it's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> These actually taste good. Oh, good, because I made them. Okay. <laughs> no, this is how I was envisioning that mine should taste. Yeah, what the hell did I do? Okay. What recipe did you follow? Yeah. My own. <laughs> oh my. Dog pizza. <laughs> Approved? Bro, imagine if that dog spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rice Krispie Treats work. Use their recipe. Don't do whatever I did because it just does not look good. I'm gonna throw away the whole container. If you wanna try this recipe on your own and not mess it up, uh, let me know and let me know what you did because I brutally messed this up. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Go get yourself some Jet Puff protein powder because that shit is really good on its own. Code Jake will save you 15% on your order. Drops July 27th or probably by the time this video's happened and will be in Walmart nationwide.